editing a video getting these batteries charged seems like that is the routine I need to get used to is during the winter where there's no sun anyway um, when I use the heat at night I gotta run the generator all day charging it or the main bat or the main engine I'll charge it a little bit quicker but this is nice because I can just leave the little generator going do my PC stuff the fridge can kick on and no no issues making some chicken some burritos add some veggies all right camping out here with another RV grocery store and uh, just had a had a nice security guard come up and tell me they're kind of cracking down on it I'm gonna probably get a nap it's 3 o'clock p.m. I might take off around just later this evening funny story though he was telling me about the other RVs he had to deal with one of them up here he was saying they had to get the police involved the guys dressing up as Batman and causing problems and I just thought that was hilarious that there's an RV around here dressing up as Batman generator shut down batteries got fully charged Alright, it's getting down to 30 degrees tonight according to the weather. Propane is getting down there. Probably gonna go tomorrow and stop at a gas station and get filled up on that. Or sometime over the next few days. Just kind of taking it easy right now. Trying not to drive too much and save on gas. I'm just really looking forward to the warmer weather when it finally gets here making some eggs and eating up some of this corned beef hash which is my new favorite thing to have with my eggs since it's canned it doesn't spoil it's easy you just scoop it out on a plate microwave it a little messy but that's a good that'll be a good breakfast there's also Roast beef hash, which I think I like better now that I tried that. And obviously uh, some actual hash browns would be a whole lot better, but the canned hash is easy and quick to heat up. I have just gotten this horrible habit of forgetting uh, to turn the inverter back on or switch the breakers it keeps thawing this thing out. I was like why are my batteries doing so good they're doing amazing I'm just not realizing how, uh, how much power this fridge is taking out of them just got that filled up all with kickback points too didn't have to spend any money I've been getting all my propane at 76 at 76 stations and using their kickback rewards card thing Oh, what a mess. There's water everywhere. So, well, at least we dethawed the, uh... Backward. Back in another parking lot here. Windows all steamed up. It's a, it's pretty cold out, and just had a bunch of rain followed with a pretty good hailstorm. Boy, it sounded like people were th dumping gravel on the roof. It was crazy, but it's cleared up. Kind of enjoying the fogged up windows because they let in light, and I still get a little bit of privacy. Anyway, I'm here. I got a couple things. Picked up a new bowl. I like the big bowls so I can microwave some refried beans, make some burritos if I want. That's kind of what I'm thinking. I got a couple hamburgers left and no buns. So I might put those into some burrito shells with some beans. Still got maybe two or three gallons left in that tote. Those are seven gallons. 
so they last me seven days if I'm drinking a gallon a day, which is what I plan for. I'll go ahead and bring that in and top it off just to make sure I got plenty of drinking water. I finally got some proper magnets for these doors, and oh my gosh, what a relief that is not to have to take these bungees off anymore. Got just enough grip, they don't fling open, at least not so far. Ah, oh, it's so nice, you guys. 86 cents at Home Depot. They even have brown ones. And a few other different... These were the smallest, cheapest ones they had. They have ones that are a little bit bigger. Probably some beefier ones. These, I kept the bungees on. Well, because I would have needed uh, like another 15 or so, 10 to 15 magnets, and I didn't want to spend that much money. Um, but yeah, same. this up here, stuff's a little more likely to fall over higher up in the RV it is. So I left these bungees on since there has been times where um, I've had stuff fall out when I was taking a corner and pop open the door. Yeah, so sun's been kind of out, going away, coming out, raining, hailing, but mm, mostly sun so far, mostly dry. It's been a little bit of sun with mostly overcast. It's 113. Dish is done, then I made a couple dirty pans with eggs this morning and hamburgers for dinner the other night, last night, this morning. I got a weird sleep schedule right now. Picked up some sponges as well while I was at the Walmart. I was out of those. Just hearing some booming thunder off behind me, which is a little eerie with all this sunshine ahead of me and I'm assuming there must be dark. Some dark clouds back there or something, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. That should not be in the sun. Little Tandy, Tandy 1000. this power strip which plugs into the battery backup which goes to the old boob tube and to the extension cord which turns out behind it so I can hook up the N64 and my other retro consoles and then I went over to Walmart and got their cheapest 25 foot three prong extension cord and ran that up to the ceiling Zip tied it to tighten things up so it's not drooping so bad. So that runs back, so I have battery backup for my Xbox. Alright, heading to a new location. I just thought I'd film some of these clouds. Looking kinda looking kinda angry. Kinda weird looking too. It's like it'd be a crap ton of rain maybe. Freezing tonight, I think. Forty. No. Getting getting down to twenty-eight tonight. Feels like forty. So it's a cold one tonight. Probably gonna be freezing then. I'll uh, have to pick a parking lot I want to. 
I get frozen in somewhere, I have to pick a good parking lot. big parking lot branches hmm yeah let's go toward the back stayed before. I've uh, usually parked like right in here. Oh, these freaking branches. Jesus Christ. Seems like I tried uh, fitting in here once before and fit in these spots is a little too short. Mm. No, that's kind of all coming from... I don't think that's me. Ground. I, look at these old grease. Yeah, that's freaking old motor oil on the ground, I think.